What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft. If you guys watched the previous video on uh, youtube.com slash franklapore, which I hope you did, and if you didn't, go check it out now. Uh, one thing I didn't notice is that our last round opponent, Yank Key, sent us a message and it said, tell Mike I love him. Oh, they're gone. Dang it. Why can't I send a message? I just want to send him a message. Whatever. That's sad. Anyway, we tried. We tried. That's hilarious, though. Uh, let's go back to here. We're going to join this league. We're going to use some play pointos. And then we're going to do a draft. There's no stip currently. If you guys want to get your stips in, please do it soon. Because uh, I think the cube... So, if you, for those who don't know, actually, I will be playing in the, uh, the MTG Arena Early Access Streamer event next Tuesday. Uh, the event itself starts at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time. So, 10 a.m. Eastern time for me. And uh, that's going to be pretty sweet. I'm super excited about that. So Tuesday is going to be off limits. So, you know, if we're going to do Cube, it's got to be like Monday, Wednesday, or, or this Thursday or Friday. So if you guys want to do some steps before the Cube goes away, definitely hit me up. And uh, you can email me at frank at franklapore.com. I think it's for fellows, man. I'm looking forward to our fellows. But yeah, I'm super excited. Definitely definitely be sure to follow or subscribe. You'll get notifications when I go live. And then you can join me next week on my super sweet... My, we're going to be testing some some Niv Mizzet Reborn next week. For sure. I'm definitely looking forward to trying that card out. Uh, grab the tax or Thalia. No more green. Some, that sounds like a stipulation to me. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Rafalos is so good, though. I would also probably take Metamorph over Thalia or Lantax. Lantax, I don't think, is first pickable. Um, I don't know if I... Do I really want the Rafalos? Oh, dang it. It auto-picked for... I, look, I don't want to always be playing the green deck. I'm the green deck to me is like Storm to Luis, right? Like he will always he will look for a reason to force Storm because he loves it and he has a good he has good results with it. I will look for reasons to play mono green. And boy, does 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 the do the drafters always just give it to me? Oh, piece of candy! A piece of candy is right. You just go forest, forest or fellows, forest. Add six. Play a two drop. Sack it to natural order. Deranged Hermit. Uh oh. Little man just ate, so now he's going to be super loud. I like Deranged Hermit a lot more than Beast Whisperer. Beast Whisperer has been unimpressed with me because four mana for this effect is just not where you want to be in the Legacy Cube. We're going to take Hermit. It's the only green card. Though I bet the Beast Whisperer actually tables. Can you please splash something fun then, like not blue or black? Okay, so we're splashing red or white. Okay. I will I will actively try, Ben. I will actively give it a shot. What's the sound of the little man makes? <laughs> Mao. I mean, to be fair, these are some pretty powerful green picks. Do you remember when I used to call you Nobert, Noberts? Noberts, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Noberts. Uh, Wall of Blossoms. Ooh, Night of Autumn. You know what Night of Autumn is good with? When you're splashing white, boys. No Burt's, only Ernie's. No Burt's, no Master. What does that second one mean? I get the first one. I don't get the second one, though. Oh. Wow. Yeah, well, all right. So, you know, we're having a good time. Everybody having a good time. A Bayou? Okay. I mean, this is double white so far. I do, God, I do like an Avacyn, though. I'm going to take the Bayou just in case. If we end up getting a Marsh Flats, we can get both of our colors. Better than an isolated Chappy Boy. Oh, man, Vraska's nice. I just pick up a Bayou, and then they hit me with they hit me with the Vraska. Also, Rhythm of Wild is pretty good. So we're taking a Bayou, but we're supposed to splash red or white here. I mean, I'm just going to take the Vraska, right? It's just really good. Well, of course we need more dorks, but, I mean, we haven't gotten them yet. There's only seven picks, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. 
I'm just gonna take the Garrick. I don't want any of these double white spells. And this Garrick, as f <laughs> look, the Thalia and the land tax both come back. Uh, I'm gonna take the Read the Bones here. I actually dismember is decent. I like dismember. Yeah, December seems great, especially for splashing the black. Um, I guess Profane Command is fine. Containment Priest is interesting. I'm going to try really hard not to sing that Romanda song. Look, the Beast Whisperer came back because it's utterly terrible. I actually actively don't want Treetop Village because of Rafellos. Like, it's so funny. Don't play goalie in the strap. That's actually a good stipulation. I agree with you. I think I, I will do that one. <laughs> oh, I do remember you're welcome to continue. As still there are, as there are, there, as there still are no other birds in the chat. Uh, once another one appears, uh, I think we're just taking this Raging Ravine in the hopes that the, all right, that's fine. In the hopes that the, the rhythm comes back. All right. Well, all the white, <laughs> and it does, and it does, <laughs> it comes back, you see. Um, once the, another one appears, we will have to figure something less confusing out. Like call me no births zero two zero seven one eight. And then. Something like no birds zero four sixteen nineteen. Sorry for the later sounds working from late call, but yeah, no, that's fine. That is totally fine. No apology needed, my dude. This is unbelievable. This just like the last pick. Like, maybe the rhythm comes back. Oh, it's the last pick. You stupid idiot. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not a good black card for us. There's not a good red card for us, and there is not a good green card for us. Sometimes I just take Sacred Foundry. Because it does let us splash both of these off of one off of one land. And then if we get something that like if we get like a windswept heath, we can get a black. Yeah, we're just taking the sacred foundry. Man, this deck is going deep all of a sudden, boys. I also like Scrubland for the same reason, but I also like Birds of Paradise for a better reason. I also like Umazawa's Jite. Primal Command is hot turds. Primal Command is not a first pickable card. Because it is hot doo-doo, chief. I hope spring comes back. Yeah, you and everybody else, buddy. <laughs> I meant Sauron. I think it's rampant growth. Although with well, like splashing four colors, it's kind of awkward. I do love Master of the Wild Hunt, but he's probably just going to table, let's be honest. Oh, Arbor Elf? Yeah, boy. I do like Temple Garden as well. Uh, it's got to be Arbor Elf. We know, what, we know what we're doing here. Also, if that Temple Garden comes back... Ooh-wee! Marari's Wake... Stronger tree speaker. Which one's more likely to come back, guys? I don't know. I mean, this dude is OP, but Marari's Wake is also pretty, pretty P. The problem with Marari's Wake right now is that we don't have any way to really exploit it. We don't have, uh, we can't go Marari's Wake, play six land, add 12 Eldrazi. We can't tooth and nail. We have nothing that costs like more than eight mana. Uh, I've seen tree speakers go very late. I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, tree speaker has actually tabled before. I mean, we got a last pick. Like, eh, I guess that doesn't mean anything. The point is, green is underdrafted. Carney T, Lanny Elf. Rampy B, but Rampa, because it's like because it's like a ramp Rampa. It says Rampa on the first, in the first five letters. I'm just gonna take the Finhorn Elves. Carnage Tyrant's cool and all, but eh, maybe Carnage Tyrant's good. We have three. We have already three of these. I'll take the Carnage Tyrant. That wasn't Lanny Elf. That was Findy Elf. 
similar but different. I like fertile, fertile in ground. This makes any color, which is actually super strong. Thran Dynamo is cool, but who has the time, you know? Wasteland, Domri, Searchy, Sorty. One thing I love is like playing Bird of Paradise on turn one, Sword on turn two, and then getting in there on turn three. Like if you can manage that. One of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna cavalierly throw like thirty raisins in my mouth and they're gonna all have stems on them. And I'm just gonna die on the spot. Cause I'll just be choking on them. I don't know what to take here. I think it's sword. I don't care about search. Domri's fine, but not super exciting. Mm, whatever. As long as you're on stream when it happens. Well, that would be like... I want to take this treasure map, actually. That would be really good value for you guys. Yeah, I subbed for a long time, and then he ended up dying on stream. He didn't have to, but he chose to. And uh, I really appreciated him for that. Oh, I love Green Warden, actually. Stoneforge is nice with a sword. The Jitte did not come back, nor did the Scrubland, unfortunately. But if we get, like, Tooth and Nail, Green Warden's nice. I want to take out the Beast Whisper. I'm just never impressed by Beast Whisper. Harmonize is a card I'm pretty impressed with, though. No births. Does uh, does five color green excite you more? If we if we splash rhythm and night and Vraska, I'm looking for a land that can get by you in Sacred Foundry. So like we're looking for a wooded foothill. What in the fudge? Last pick, the Rand Dynamo is not reasonable. And then your kid windswept heath no 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 nailed it that's exactly what we're looking for because it gets by you and sacred foundry that's beautiful and then your grandkids are going to be like where where were you grandpa where were you when frank died on stream and you can be like well i was there son i was there now take this footage and go buy yourself a spaceship <laughs> that's from uh, michael scott's the office These seem appropriately spicy. Uh, well done, in before 03. I'm glad you got in before then because it's happening. I like Zealous Conscripts here. I think it's just Zealous Conscripts. We have Raging Green, Sacred Foundry, and Windswept Heath, along with Birds of Paradise and Fertile Ground and Rampant Growth. Plus, if we get a Resto, it's infinite combo, right? Resto and Zealous Conscripts. That's how that works, right? It's not how that works. Smellus Conscripts. It is more like that. Also, if you guys have not noticed yet, uh, I do have an article up on CoolStuffInc.com. It is titled brew chromatic brews with niv mizzet reborn so definitely check that out it's coolstuffinc.com and definitely leave a comment on the actual article itself i really appreciate that it lets them know that the articles well received that people are you know that there's a lot of Thank engagement you. and uh that is awesome flicker form thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome that is awesome you are a good dude i appreciate it i think it's rootbound crag even though we do have our fellows which i don't love because it just helps us cast our our red cards. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not in love with it. I'm in like with it. Ulamog could be decent here. Solemn would have been fine, actually. I think it's Ulamog here. We have nothing to really ramp into, but now we do. And it also lets us play Thren Dynamo. Long time YouTube watcher. Love all you do. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I love all that you do. Because right now, that's limited to uh, supporting the channel and uh, complimenting me and subscribing. So, like, I, I all, everything I know about you, I love. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Is it just Xenagos? It's not this. It's not Immortal Sun when we have Garrick and Vraska. And then Xenagos. Is it Immortal Sun? I don't I don't know, man. I don't care about no air defense. More like doo-doo defense. 
Got him! I don't think I really got him. I wanted him to think I got him, so I, I kind of projected there as if I had got him. I don't really think he was gotten. It's unfortunate. But yeah, go check out the article. Let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts in the comments section of the article, and we'll have a good time. I appreciate it, guys. And if you're there, if you're going to pick up some cards anyway and you're cool stuff, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. So definitely do that. And the article is linked in the comments. It is uh, coolstuffinc.com backslash a backslash Frank Laporte dash 0417 dash chromatic dash bruise dash with dash niv dash mizzet dash reborn. So toss that bad boy up in your browser and you're good to go. Yeah, if I had zero Planeswalkers, I don't want to not play Garrick or not play Vraska or be in an awkward position where, like, I have Immortal Sun and I draw Vraska or I have Vraska and I draw Immortal Sun. Like, I'd rather just have a Xenoghost, which I think is just fine. Is there a way to comment without a Facebook profile? I haven't touched that site in years. I would prefer to stay that way. Um, I don't think so, to be quite honest. Fantastical Image is cool, however, not in our deck. Emrakul, however... That's a card I'll take. We'll put the Thran Dynamo back in the deck. Vivian Reed. I like that almost better than Rexage. Because she does the same thing, but she's a very strong, scary planeswalker. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan of it. Blue card, blue card, Beast Within is good. Eh, we're probably just taking the Beast Within. It's easier on the mana than the Assassin's Trophy. Dragon Skull Summit is a card. Uh, this is always going to come and play tapped, though, unfortunately. I might just want the Virtuous Gear Hulk here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Onish Joker, it's my birthday day. Perfect day to do a stip. Kill all the... Wait, that... Is that... Did that come through three times? What's going on there? What's happening right now? Shut up Kill and take my all money. the things. Take removal over everything except for mana and fixing. Bonus strip mine combo, but not needed. Okay. Well, that's sweet. Happy birthday, Travis. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you so much. I like it. Shut up and take my One money. of my favorite parts about streaming is you guys have birthdays, but then you guys usually end up rewarding me, and it's just kind of cool. I really appreciate it, and it's just, it's just kind of a weird, cool gesture. Like, you're being generous on your birthday, which is the day that people should be generous to you, but you guys show support on your birthday, and that's just cool. All right, so I'm gonna add this to the wow. Last last pick, copper line gorge. I'm really grateful for this uh, for this windswept heath because I don't actually know how we would have how we would have managed otherwise. All right, stipulations in the queue. Money Joker. All right. Okay, so we have five cuts we need to make. Now, I like that. Jeez, that... That... that uh, look, the Aether Street Harvester also came back. Can you imagine if Mike donated on his birthday? You'd be rich. That's true. I would be rich. All right. I don't want to cut any of these. Um... I can see cutting Night of Autumn, but there's no real point because we have Sacred Founder and Windswept Teeth, so. We can also add one Plains. Just get it with. We also have Fertile Ground, Bird of Paradise. We have a lot of ways to. It's got to be one of these four drops, right? Yeah, they're all pretty good. 27 cards? Good lord. It's got to be a four drop, right? Is it just Harmonize? I'm going to him by the. Maybe it's Virgil's Gear Hulk. Uh, I don't think we have a Deranged Hermit deck, actually. We don't have Guy's Cradle or Opposition, so I'm actually fine cutting that idiot. It's a late Court of Calling as well. I don't want to cut Thran Dynamo. Natural Order actually seems pretty bad here. We can only get Carnage Tyrant, Green Warden, or Avenger. Is that good enough? I don't think so. I guess we can also get, like, Knight of Autumn if we need to kill a thing. Maybe it's fine. Uh, Gearhulk's a card that I'm cons consistently impressed with. I think the people who say cut Gearhulk look at it at face value and see a 4-mana five, 5-5, five, 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 but they don't actually play with it because it's very, very strong. Your Hulk is a card that has consistently done a lot of work. Um, I could see... God, I really don't want to cut the natural order. I'm just not super impressed with it here. I get to getting Treasure Map or Harmonize. One of those two. 
Did we ever cut the harmonize? How did we cut harmonize? What's wrong with us? That's weird. Oh, this is another reason not to take Rex Sage, because we had Knight of Autumn already. I mean, look at the cards in this specific draft uh, in our deck here that are in modern that are not in, or that are in legacy that are not in modern. Let's go through them and find them. Thran Dynamo. Natural Order. Done. No, we're Phyllis. Done. <laughs> These are the three cards that are actually in legacy that are not in modern. And I think that's why people are feeling like this is a weird iteration of the legacy cube. Because like, they cut a lot. I feel like there's a lot fewer legacy cards. Even if we look at our sideboard, we have Deranged Hermit, Flame Tongue Kavu, Imperial Recruiter, and that's it. Like we have three cards in the main deck and three cards on the sideboard that are legacy legal, that are not in any other, that are not legal in in. Oh sure, but I'm not. I'm not even looking at lands though. I guess buy you sure. Twenty six cards. Again, I feel like this is a, a sixteen land deck, so we actually only need two cuts. The stip did go through three times. Someone was like, "Uh, looks like someone's button got someone's donate button is stuck." Yeah, I didn't. I don't know if it. I don't know if I got it three times, but it did. The notification went through three times. I'm gonna take you by the hand to stream to... Wait, what does that even mean? I don't know. Nobody knows. I just want more Legendary Cube. I know a lot of people hate it, but it was fun to watch. Really? Interesting. If it did go through three times, we'll do... Yeah, we can do three different ones. That's totally fine. I, I don't think it did, though. Actually, it might have. It might have. So come up with come up with two more just in case. We'll figure it out. I can see cutting Carnage Tyrant from the main. Yeah, I like that. And one more cut. One more cut. Swanny boy, nicely done. Nicely done. We have Harmonize and Treasure Map. I think we can cut Treasure Map for Harmonize. I like that. And then we just play all these lands. The problem, the only problem I'm seeing is that we're gonna have like I want to add one black because we have rampant growth. So I want to have one black. One white and one red. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna have eight forests, nine with the bayou. Did I even put the bayou in here? I didn't. So eight with the bayou. Like we only have one night of autumn. Maybe we can cut this white here. Add another one of these. Probably cut this. Add another one of these. Like I don't wanna like I don't care about rampant growth. I just want to maximize for fellows here. Add the bayou. I do want one mountain though because we do have four red cards and we only have one black and one white card, so that's fine. Nope, done there. All right, let's see what happens here. We got Emrakul and Olamog. We know Tooth and Nail, so we're gonna be casting these guys the hard way with mana. Snap it, snap it off. This hand is, jeez. If they snap kill this bird, then maybe they don't snap kill this Rafelos. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, I had a feeling that was happening. Alternatively, you could just play Fertile Ground, which guarantees another Gar Garrick on turn four. I mean, three. This guy's just chowing down on raisins while he streams. Unbelievable. Hmm.
The upside's too high. But the downside is so low. This is a situation where I'm just like, I'll waste that mana. <sighs> All right, well. Still got five mana next turn, and they don't have anything on board. Here comes the Hell Rider. To be clear, I would easily trade a Garrick for a Hell Rider. Wow, really? Fire Confluence on one elf. That's aggressive. I'm gonna take it by the hand, make you understand my now. Unfortunately, if they play Hellrider now, it's worse. But, what are you gonna do? They did not. They hit a mountain. They played the mountain. Good to go. G2G. G2G. Easy as one, two, three, A, B, C. G to G, baby, you and me. Let's make another wolf. I want to show you guys why this is so strong right now. Easy as wool, man. Now I have three four fours on the board. A B C, easy as virtuous G. That's that stands for virtuous Gear Hulk. In case you guys didn't know. Sure. You get the searing spear something that doesn't do anything at all. Oh, you get to kill Garrick. I guess that's pretty cool. What a cool thing to do. I have a fiction out what's going on, my dude. My man. Well, four, five, six. We've drawn seven lands and three spells. I'm not going to complain because we're ahead. But that's still a pretty bad distribution. I would 100% kill Wolf here. Because if you have, like, Manic Vandal, you get to kill this guy. And also, like, having this in the graveyard just gives me more options for things. I don't know, man. They're at eight. We have two four fours. Seems good. Oof. That's pretty brutal. Well, they have to exert here, right? Wow, that sucks. Give me a spell. It's actually very good. Two. Actually, untap that. Because that gives us any color, so I'm just going to play this here. If we want to use a white, if we hit like a Knight of Autumn or something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just taking the green warden here. Thank you. I'm gonna put you to four here. This guy doesn't untap. I don't think they have the luxury of attacking. Hey, Shinobi, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I finally get to make it to another street. Man, good times, good times. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What knife is that? It is a Benchmade. I can tell you the exact model number. I think they're deciding whether to block or not. It is a Benchmade Mini Crooked River. It's a great little knife. Wow, X-Match knew it was a Crooked River. That's amazing, dude. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I had a little accident with this knife. And it has a little chip right there. 
And I'm wondering if I email Benchmade and tell them if they'll fix that because the knife is not that old. I think I got it. I got it June 30th of last year, so it's less than a year old. Wait, they didn't attack with Hazaret? Five, six, seven, eight. Well, we have to kill this now, right? Huh. Well, I guess we're just Green Warden. Yeah, I actually... <laughs> that's hilarious. I actually have a deep carry clip in my... I have a deep carry clip in my desk that I actually asked them for. I was like, hey, can I get a deep carry clip? I just haven't put it on, actually, because I haven't had the tool to... I don't have the, the little hex screw that I need to, un, to undo it. I think we only have forests left. All right, well, one less, one less thing. I think I could live without it for a few weeks. I mean, if they sent me the part like this little wood side, I would actually just do it myself. But that clearly might not be an option. Oh, experimental frenzonio. Okay, well, that's fascinating. A Torx tip? Well, butter my biscuits. Are you coming at me? Alright. Alright. I guess I'll go to seven here. Hmm. Six? Well, we're definitely... Destroy an artifact, enchantment, or a creature with float. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need ten mana. If we plus and hit a land, we can actually put eight. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Oh, we have a second blocker in the Muta Vault, though. Dang it. Okay, that's pretty good. So, if we just steal your hazard, you have to chump with both of these. But then, like, still need one more land. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana. It's, it could be the land. If we play the land... Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do that. I'm going to pay the correct amount of mana, though. One, two, three, A, B, C. One, two, three, maybe A, B, C, girl. That's how the song goes, right? I mean, if they block here, they take this. We could just not kill the Mutavolt and kill them instead. Because now, even if they have an answer for this or this, they still take 5, 6, 7, 8, or 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's no two mana spell that kills a four, four, four toughness creature. So it is for Harvester seems good here. Um, Flame Tongue seems okay as well. Probably take out the Harmonize. I don't feel like we have time for Harmonizing. There's no time for Harmonizing here, guys. Sort of Body and Mind doesn't do anything for us. I think that's fine. 
Imperial Recruiter gets Knight of Autumn, which is kind of kind of sweet. It also just jump blocks something, like an Abbot of Carol Keep. I think we can take out one of these dudes. Probably this Emrakul. We'll bring an Imperial Recruiter. I would like Beast Within if it killed Hazaret. That's a fair trade to make, but Dismember actually is pretty good against Hazaret. Yeah, let's take out the let's take out both of the Eldrazi for the. Also, if I'm dismembering a Hellrider, I'm fine with that. If I'm dismembering a Glorybringer, that's fine. Like all these are fine. Uh, definitely keeping this. Turn one bird. If not, if that dies, we still have rampant growth. Into recruiter, and this lets us play knight. It's all pretty good. We can go get our our mountain so that we don't have to. So that we can on turn two, on turn three, we can play. Sure, that's fine. We got a Vivian Reed. We're definitely going to try to Vivian Reed next turn and kill the smuggler's copter. That's rude. Bottles and cans and just clap your hands and just clap your hands. Where it's at? I got two turntables and a microphone. Did you guys know about my two turntables and my microphones? No one does. Wow, that's a, that's a thing. Smuggler's Copter is a hell of a drug. That's kind of funny. I guess we're Imperial Recruitering here. Getting... Uh, I think it's still Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn kills the Smuggler's Copter. I just came from stream watching MTG and apparently there's a website that ranks the cards in your pool so this person just went with the highest ranking cards in each pack in the right color. Ugh, I'm not going to lie, my soul got hurt a little. Yeah, this is the problem with digital card games like this. Um, when the... Not the, not the... I don't know, the, the API? I don't know what it's called, but like where the information, the data that comes from the game is... Is, uh, is so readily available like it is with... Uh, well, I don't think skill is no longer necessary. That's not that's that's a little hyperbolic. I mean, I don't know if you played Magic before, but the, a lot of the games are very relevant. God, Hazard's a real scumbag, isn't it? And we can go Vivian and kill this. Well, Ashok wouldn't be there for... Yep. Yeah, uh, this cartoon is each opponent. Okay, so they can't kill Planeswalkers with this. They have to actually attack. Oh man, Goblin Ravelmaster make a token. Crew smugly. Well, card evaluation is a skill. I'm not saying card evaluation isn't a skill. I'm saying that all of the skill is not in card evaluation. Like, you saying skill is no longer necessary is hyperbolic because it is necessary.
I think the problem is that like the best card is not always going to be the best card for you, right? Like, I mean, the best card in the pack is not going to give you a playable deck. It's not going to have any synergies. Sometimes you need a card like clear the clear whatever the whatever the cards that shuffles your deck or Sphinx's two the the two the four mana card that draws you two and gains you life. Like, there's going to be a lot of filler cards you need in your deck. Um that you're just going to have to draft and like they're not going to be the highest the best card in the pack they're not going to be the best card in the pack for your deck they're going to be the 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 uh the, the best card in a vacuum they're going to be the sphinx's tutelage there you go oh i think we're dying again yep cool where it's at I've got a two turntables and a microphone. 9.39. Okay. Just marking down the times it's happening. PM. PM. I mean, we're in the red. It, I, I guess that means it's unstable. Um. Like, I'm distressed at how difficult Hazard is to deal with. I think our deck is fine. Yeah, you have to build the deck, you have to play the deck, and you have to sideboard with the deck. So, like, in no way is skill suddenly removed because a, a program is telling you. Like, you also have to have the skill to know when the program is wrong. Like it's not it's not even like it it's just telling you the highest card. That doesn't mean that it telling you the best card in the pack doesn't mean it's telling you the best card in your deck. Wow, this is terrible. <laughs> so all right, match two, I guess, because uh, magic is still a game that you don't get to play if you don't hit the lands. But uh, you know, what can you do? I'm gonna try another one of these these melted strawberry Kit Kats because they're right here. And uh Good. Yep, of course they kill that. Why wouldn't they? Joke's on you. Ah. Red mana. I'll take it. Come on, red mana next turn. It's not a copper line gorge. One time. Wow, just incinerate to the face? Okay. Red mana lets us play any of these. Or I guess like a three mana spell that we can cast. Not a rampant growth, but like... I don't know, man. Sacred Foundry would be fine, but... I heard there was gross nerd stuff going on here. Children's card game and job shirts, and I'm here to shut it down. How dare you? You're not our dad. You can't control us. I know your secrets. Who are the Yim sisters? I have no idea who that is. This sounds like a trap, though. Red card, black card, six drop. <clears throat> drop top. Gonna lose out to these burning drops. Burning, burning. Nah, I got nothing here. It's just bad. We're just having a bad time. Everybody's having a bad time. Oh, look at that. Actually, that's not bad with the Hunt Master of the Fellies. All right, gain some life. I mean, this is where they just go Glorybringer, attack us for four, put us to five. And then we're like, oh no. I guess we can go Vivian and kill it? I don't know, man. I think we're dead. I started writing a response defending my skill comment and realized that what I see is reasonings for it equates to old man shakes his fist at Clark. It's really important that you see that, though. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's like... I'm not encouraging it by any means. I'm just saying let's not... Let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know what I mean? I, I love that you actually noticed that, though. Like, you actually accepted that it's like, I'm just being mad because 
it's a change or it's like you know it's not i get it i get it and i i appreciate you actually like acknowledging that bonfire for what two yeah all right it's fine <sighs> they have five if they had glory bringer i bet they would have played it we can play any one of these cards now. I think we're going to wait on Imperial Recruiter. Xenagos could be the could be the key. But if they have Glorybringer, they just go kill the token. I think it's just Vivian Reed here. Um, There's a White Source and a Knight of Autumn. Which one do you want? We can actually get Sacred Foundry. Um... Play Imperial Recruiter and go get the Knight of Autumn again. I think that's probably better. Knight of Autumn gain four is pretty good. What do they have in hand? Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's something. Jiraga Tree Speaker, huh? Hmm. Well. Jesus. If they hit land, they just attack with everything, deal us, and they just kill us, right? Because we can't make four blockers, so they just attack with everything. We go block, block. They sack this guy before blocks. Well, I guess they'd have to... Eh. Or they attack with all three. We have two blockers. I guess we could take two and then play. We can play this and play Sacred Foundry. I don't like taking two here, but what what are what is all our what is our alternative our alternative? Wow, that was hard to say. What is our our, 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 our alternative? I agree. I want I want to see the choices a uh, player makes and why they make them on here to view website. Yeah, of course. I don't agree with streaming that that experience by any means. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Um, so we're only gaining two. We're going to nine, but we are gonna be alive. I guess that's good. We can also just play an eight eight, but then they just kill us, right? They attack with everything. I think we're still dead but i feel like we were actually uh we were trying our best here if we just get to play avenger next turn we get a bunch of blockers so here's the thing Thwok, i think i think uh, here's the problem you're you're saying that kids uh in their apps get to learn for free i don't think knowing the best card in the pack is learning how to draft i do not think there's far more nuance to drafting and there have been many, many times where I was playing an arena draft for Hearthstone, a Hearthstone arena. And uh, there's there are sites, oh Jesus, that tell you the best cards in the pack. And I don't actually win when I pick those. Like if I just pick the best card in the pack, you don't actually win. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to deal with this guy. Like, it, drafting a deck, a, a cohesive deck with a strategy, is not the same as drafting the best card in the pack. Yeah, we are 100% dead, especially with Infernal Titan. We are at four. They just they literally turn this guy sideways and kill us. I don't think there's a card in our deck that helps us here. There, it's definitely not those. All right, well, this is not one of the better green decks we've drafted, but it's always weird to, to say that. When you literally get, you know, the nuts sometimes. You get like, oh, second pick for Fellows, third pick Natural, or like you're getting all the, the best green cards. So it's weird to be like, well, it's not the best green deck. But the green decks definitely need specific things. I 
I mean, yeah, card evaluations are valuable. Like, it's nice to know that Teferi is, like, a nine. And, you know, Remand is, like, a six, right? But sometimes your deck has four or five drops, and you don't need a Teferi, you need a Remand. You know, so, like, you have to know these things, right? And if you, and if, like, what if, what if a new set comes out where the best card in the set is a six drop, right? Like, and it's an, it's like, it's a common six drop, right? Like, you're not going to... If, if every pack has one, right, you're not just going to take seven of them, and your deck's going to be terrible. Uh, this is actually pretty insane. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, six, we have eight mana next turn? Yeah, that's a reasonable amount of mana. I don't think I've lost any weight. Three drop, three drop, three drop. Arbor Elf, okay. We don't need the red for anything. Are you going to mana like this? You're going to draw, okay. Yikes. That's ugly. Uh, we already have a red. I'm just going to take the forest. I'm just going to play this guy. And I'm just going to pass here. We could level this up. I don't think we need to because we're not going to get this to four before we cast a Lamog. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We actually do it next turn, I guess. Yikes. This where they just wipe the board. Yeah, of course they do. I mean, we get to keep a Vivian read. I guess that's nice. That's still pretty bad. Oh, boy. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Wow, everybody wins. Sword? Uh, I'm going to... Wow, there is a sword. That's hilarious. We just couldn't grab it. I don't know why I thought we could grab it for some reason. The problem is the fertile ground is here as well. So we're going to have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, the reason we didn't attack was because I wanted to protect Vivian Reed. So, I'm going to just take Master here. I'm just going to play Master of the Wild Hunt. I think getting that guy down is better than playing a Dynamo, which we actually have nothing to do with next turn. The reason I fell in love with Magic in the first place is that it's so deep in there's much. Yeah, I agree with you completely. The reason I love Magic so much and that it's held my interest for 20 years is that it's always a new game. Every every three months, it is basically a new game. War of the Spark. Oh, fucking god damn it! War of the Spark is literally a. No, uh, oh, you just drew a Gristle Brand in your Jeskai deck. Is literally going to be a different format than. Uh, oh, they're just going to throw the breach. This, I guess. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be like, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? It's a new game every 30 days. Yeah, there are a lot of supplemental products. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Okay, well, they did not have... What, well, they get Metamorph and Gristlebrand? Oh, are they going to try to through the Breach and then Metamorph their Gristlebrand? That's pretty insane.
All right, well, damage is going through. I do feel like this Gristlebrand play is happening. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This guy's gonna have riot. Here comes Gristle Boy. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Wow, they go to six here, huh? That's amazing. I don't know why you do it on your turn. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter when you do it. Sure. Back up to 17, they go. Any thoughts on Watsy creating a card that basically says Marvel Cinematic Universe on it? It's the end game. Uh, I've never loved it. I, haven't, I don't even know what that card does. I've never loved anything more other than your... You can't say that. You haven't even subbed. Come on, GK Spidey. Get it together. Wow, 17 to 17. Seems seems fair. Fair and, uh, fair and reasonable magic. I guess they're going to go down to 15 here, so that's okay. If we could draw a... Uh, Night of the Night of Autumn doesn't even do it because we don't have white source here. I mean, this lets us play Ulamog next turn. I don't feel like attacking here, though, for obvious reasons. <laughs> During my upkeep, I'll draw seven cards randomly. It is an artifact. Oh, commence the end game. Yeah, that card seems great. <laughs> Draw two cards, then a mass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Yeah, so it's at least always going to be two. It's like you're basically drawing two and making like a 6-6 six, six and it can be countered. Yeah, that card's gas. Well, that is unfortunate. That you could wipe our board. Yep. Like you do. Oh, man. So close. Six damage. All right. Untap land one time. Uh, why didn't you make the wolves fight the Grizzlebrand? Because that is not how that is not how face fetters works. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't cast this. Can't cast Natural Order. Can't cast Dualmog. Can't cost, cast Emrakul. I guess we're just going to pass here with nothing to do. Seven drop. Two eleven drops. We have ten mana. Natural Order with no creature. That's like the, this is like the literal worst series of draws that we could have ever had with this. They're going to go up to 20. I mean, Rhythm is pretty strong with Ulamog next turn. We're at three, but what can they do? They only have seven cards in their deck. I see. Vote for it not. What did they vote for? Oh, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely incredible. I, I mean, I, I, it's... It feels like it'd be sweet to wake up in the morning and be that lucky. I, I feel like that'd be a cool a cool ability to have to just be like able to to hit uh, Day of Judgment. We have a million man on board to have Fractured Identity for our, our final permanent, which then hits you Gristlebrand uh, while you have through the Breach in hand. And it then hits Frexian Metamorph, which allows you to keep the Gristlebrand. I then whiff on Harmonize. We hit no 11th land and we hit no creatures for our natural order. And we hit a 7-drop when we have 6 mana left over. And then they hit Council's Judgment, which allows them to take off the only chance we have to hit 11 mana next turn for the Ulamog. Like, that's 9 different things that had to happen 
in order for us to be out of that game. And it's just, just amazing. That's incredible. Uh, I like Carnage Tyrant here. Do I like it better than any of these guys? I don't know. I mean, if you didn't steal our Vivian Reed, you would have had to look at the top eight cards, right? Instead of looking at instead of looking at two batches of four, you would have had to draw all eight of them. Which, depending on the order they were in, would have taken you up to eight turns to actually draw Phyrexian Metamorph and and Grizzlebrand. You know, like we had two card types in the graveyard. It made it made made sure that Emrakul and Willamog were both um Jesus. To the surprise of no one. Um both cost eleven mana at the time. Like putting the Thoran Dynamo in the graveyard made it so they cost uh this cost ten, but we had ten mana total, so getting rid of the Thran Dynamo left us with seven mana total, so Yep, that is why we hold this Knight of Autumn, and that's a good hit. We're doing well. And they have literally only red sources? This is interesting. So if we get to draw Virgil's Gear Hulk next turn, we get to just make a 6-4 and a 4-4. Seems good. Hmm. Well, at least they don't have any white sources for a Day of Judgment. So that's nice. At all. Oh, it exiles the Dynamo too. It's Council's Judgment, so. Oh, good. Oh, good. Wow, if we had more mana, we could Zealous Conscripts that and then put into play our own guys. That'd be pretty sweet. We have a lot of power on board, so I'm not super concerned. Like, if they play Worm Coal Engine, it's fine. If they play... If they play Stupid Gristlebrand, that's fine. Like... They break even, because they go to 1, and then they go to 8 again if they want to draw the cards. I mean, the only thing we're scared of is, like... Meh, it's fine. that time I was talking about how lucky you'd have to be um, ideally that person goes out and buys a lottery ticket because they would likely win uh, and the lottery would probably be for all the money in the world that ever existed at any point and then you just get to win all of the money in the world because that's how lucky you are lucky 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 absolutely unbelievable that you hit sneak attack massacre worm phyrexian metamorph sundering titan in hand like <laughs> actual mind blowing you end up wiping my whole board because it gets negative negative and then I end up taking like 14 damage from Mask Rooms that's, that's, so, that's actually amazing to me and you're playing a 3 color deck so you had to have 3 red sources in play by turn 5 it's just actually mind blowing to me I'm just oh to be fair they were on the draw I guess that does change everything yeah, that's something, man. Ooh, that is a that is a thing. That is impressive. That person might as well look under the couch to find an infinity gem. <laughs> 
Or perhaps they already had. And that's why we're where we are today. Oh, I like being able to go Thran Dynamo into Sword of Body and Mind next turn. That's pretty nice. Salty Cube. No, I mean, like, it's fine. I'm not, like... It's just... I, I'm just, like... I'm actually flabbergasted. Like, this is one of the first times in a while where I can remember being, like... I don't even have words for, like, the sequence of events that had to take place in both of those games for the blowouts to be that that real. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys know how good Sword of Body and Mind is on uh, Rafelos when you have uh, a mono green deck going against you? Amp, thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Cheer up. <laughs> you are actually playing against Thanos. It's possible. It does not seem unlikely. Rampant growth. Pro Green. Just don't have a beast within for the sword, I guess. I don't know, man. We're playing against Dr. Spread Jam. You guys all know Dr. Spread Jam, right? All right. Well. We're just going to come on in. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see. Rattleclaw Mystic, Yavimaya Elder, Plow Under, Eternal Witness, Biogenic Ooze, Beast Within, and a Cradle. That's actually, uh, that's a hell of a deck you got here, my chief. My Huckleberry friend. My Huckleberry friend. I think my aunt goes to his clinic. <laughs> yeah, my aunt's got an appointment with Dr. Spread Jam just this weekend. Come on, you guys know Dr. Spread Jam. I feel like our deck did not turn out as good as it could have considering our t our first pick was was our first pick Rafelos and then our second pick was Natural Order and then our third pick was something else I don't know man Hold on one second. Oh man, that's a lot of typing I'm doing. Okay, master makes a gentleman. Master makes a gentleman. Okay, we're gonna assume they have an Eldra. Oh, they sit her Wayfinder to that to the trash can? Yikes. Oh, that was such a good hit. Now we have Conscripts and this? Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, we're definitely playing whatever we get here. We're either playing Conscripts or... I kind of want to just move this. Just move it. All right, so we have, how much mana do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, if we got a forest here, we could have uh, we could have played Emrakul. That's, that's sad. It's just sad, just a sad day. I kind of want to move this onto like, wait, why are we, oh my God, this makes double the wolves. That's gas. 
Are they just going to reanimate and kill us? Probably not without any green in their deck. And Eternal Witness is already in the trash can, so. I mean, but, I mean, because it's us, probably. I'm actually going to do one of these jobbies. I'm going to kill this Fertile Ground, just because I don't think they should have it. And then I'm going to move this sword over to uh, just a regular wolf, because I don't want to... I don't want to attack with the master. I just want to be swinging with my master. Swinging with my master is the name of my... I don't know what it is. I can't think of anything that makes any sense. And Noel Drazi. Let's also kill Arbor Elf here, because I want to limit the amount of mana they have here. I feel like we should have done that before we made the second, because we didn't even have to attack with both wolves. We should have done that before the trigger resolved. And we won the game. What did we hit here? Thrashing Bronton, Garrick Relentless, Raminap Excavator, Rampaging Baloth, Beast Whisperer, Primeval Titan, which we missed, Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. They do have Crater Hoof, which is worth noting. I didn't see a natural order, but they could have it in there. Their deck seems good. Just around the river bend. I actually don't hate Profane Command. Just give a bunch of our guys fear. Dismember does kill. Flame Tongue Kavu actually seems pretty good against the the green deck, right? I don't know, man. Magic's hard. I think we just have to outramp them, and I think we'll be fine. I think we're good like this. I don't know. Just kill them, bro. That's actually a solid strategy. I think if we sideboard into a deck that can just kill them, I think we're in good shape. How are they 0-1? If they're 0-1 and then they lose to us and they go 0-2 with that deck, I'm actually, I'd actually be surprised because their deck seems very good. Our deck seems like the 0-3 deck. Their deck seems like the 2-1 deck, so that's where I'm at right now. Petridge Farms remembers? What's Petridge? Is that a different thing? Are you trying to say Pepperidge Farms? Unbelievable. I hope I convinced you guys at least that Virtuous Gearhook does some work in this in this in life. Yes. Arbor Elf into, into Llanowar Emissary. Keep him. Keep him and sneep him. Long time listener, first time poster. Why are you like this? Uh, it's mostly genetic based. But, uh, you know, there is some of it that's that's uh, conditioning, I think. So, it's, you know, a little column A, a little column, little column B. Oh, they went to six? All right. Well, they're probably dead. There's no way they can survive our... Yep, that's a good one. So next turn we can go Sacred Foundry into Rafelos, or we can just play this with the hope of just turn three Emmerkulling. Just kidding, that's not a thing we can do. Just around the river bend. Oh boy, they're going ham. Ham, skillet, swine. Ham, swine, skillet. What is that, Den Protector or Rattleclaw Mystic? Probably Rattleclaw, we saw Rattleclaw.
You know, it'd be sweet if you can get Rafellos. If you can get uh, if this had a fight ability too. No, because then it'd be a two one that fights. Eh, it still could be worth it, right? It's just Dromoka's command at that point. You're like kill an artifact, put a one one counter, gain some life, fight a thing. Then it's literally just Dromoka's command on a body. Also, four modes is pretty good. Let's be real. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, they're just gonna prime time us, and we're gonna throw up in our mouth a little bit. To be fair, we would have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana of our own. So if we hit like Avenger, we can play an Avenger for th three tokens. Okay, that's better. I don't think it's great, but it's better. What do we want to hit to deal with this three three Uzums? I'm just gonna block here. We have one seven mana card, and our Brelf doesn't really do anything about it, so. We have nothing to do here. This is really sad. I'm having a sad right now. I'm gonna play this because if we want to play, oh dang, I don't know if that's true. I don't feel like we're in good shape here. Knight of Autumn doesn't do much here. I'm just gonna take six. Brutal. Like we don't have any eight drops in the deck, so if we drew like whatever we draw, we can add three, six, seven. Like Avenger still gets drawn. No blocks. They could literally just make oozes for the rest of the game because I mean I think Biogenic Ooze is a ridiculously powerful card. Even in the Legacy Cube. Okay, well they're not just gonna make oozes, they're gonna play five drop, which is Green Sun for four. We get the run. It's not that exciting. Because they're mono green, so I don't know what they could get here, actually. Master Vault Hunt. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Another forest. All right, we're just going to go to game three. Because we have literally nothing, and they just kill our Rafellos. Attack for nine. We go to five. We draw a Rootbound Crag. It isn't evasive, though. That's true. Uh, it actually is kind of evasive, because you make ten of them, and then uh, your opponent can only block, like, three. So seven of them have evasion. So, think about that. I actually don't know if Knight of Autumn is great here. I think we might have just have Beast Whisper in this deck. I, I mean, like, in this matchup particularly, because it just gives us something better to, to hit. Um, I like Beast Within just because it does kill, uh, like, a Biogenic Ooze if we really need to. Actually, Dismember is probably better. Yeah, let's do that. All right. We'll play 41. Oh, actually, Flame Tongue's probably even better than that. Dang. Well, we can dismember it before they can put the counters on it as the thing, so that's nice. This strategy is awful mana intensive. Yeah, maybe that's true. But that's the price of evasion, buddy. That's the price of evasion. That's the price you pay for being evasive. Everybody knows that. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. I'm reluctant, but if we can hit another forest, we got we have a turn two of our fellows anyway, and then we get five mana on turn two, which lets us sort of body and mind. And we have uh, second turn and third turn to hit a forest. And if we hit any other land, we still get uh, one, two, three. And I guess we still need fifth land. Either way, we still get to play the sword. And I think that's good. Dr. Spread Jam did mulligan to six here. Do they like their six? I don't know. I mean, we're just trying to one-two here. It's almost tempting to play the forest and hope we draw another forest so they can maximize our Rafellos, but uh, that's insanely greedy. So. Okay. Okay. I mean, this can get another forest. We just get another forest, then we have two forests. So if we draw, like, uh, Fertile Ground or something, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Oh, an Arby's elf. Straight from the Arby's. So right now we have four mana. So what we can do is do this, rampant growth, get a forest, play sword. That seems great. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana next turn. So if we draw any other land, we can play Vivian Reed and equip. It doesn't work as well because you're tapping this guy. So maybe we just actually, maybe we just equip and just let it roll. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, Dunzo McBunzo. Oh, we have Green Warden, though. <laughs> Yay, can you deal with it twice, my friend? God, Green Warden also gives you a 7-6 body to, to equip the sword to. Ooh, it's getting hot in here, boys. And if you guys are watching, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. It's a great deal. And uh, the clothing, it's super comfortable, guys. It is super duper comfortable. Um, yeah, them waiting to kill this gives us a lot sad. One, two, three, four, five. Vivian Reed. They could activate and attack Vivian with both, unfortunately. Yeah, we still have Green Warden. Uh, it's just forest, right? It's just always forests. I don't care about the white mana right now, I'll be honest. I'd rather just have a forest. Equip and let it rip. That's what my grandpa used to say. Oh, I like this hand just stopping in. Yeah, well, yeah, well, here you go. They're probably just going to activate this and attack with this, right? Kill Vivian Reed. And then we're just going to Green Warden it back. Ain't no Green Warden. If we hit a land, we can just cast this without having to use the Rafelos mana to do anything with. So that's pretty cool. And this is also, this is, takes up their turn, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This is also eight mana. We're real close to just Ulamogging. One of the first things I've gotten in a long time. Pharmacy school is really kicking my butt, and the debt and the debt isn't fun either. Being able to watch your drafts etc. after classes every day is always. Thank you so much, GK Spidey. Really appreciate it, buddy. Glad to hear it. I hope pharmacy school. Uh... Hmm. One thing we can do is add three, four, activate this, equip the sword here, which not only gets in damage. Um... But then we also get to re-equip and play Arbor Elf. And playing Arbor Elf is pretty nice because we want all the mana we can get. Yeah, let's do this. Because playing Arbor Elf is like adding another mana to the board, which we want to do because we want to be able to play Green Warden. And, you know. Let's see what you got, my dude. Let's see what you got. And also just getting a counter on Raging Arena is super nice, so... Goodbye, little sword. You got it. Also, getting back Vivian Reed and uh, Green Warden, or and uh, and the sword with the Green Warden is pretty nice. All right, we're working on it. We're working on it. So now we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have nine mana. If we draw a forest, we can just hard cast dual log. And this only costs ten, so if we draw any land, we can cast this. So this is a pretty okay hand. I think we might be able to one two this draft. I think. I think we might be might be doing it. We're living what's known as the one two dream. It's still alive. 
It may die, but for now it's alive. This is game three, match three, my dude. That guy, I don't care about. That is the worst possible thing I could have drawn. It is neither a land nor a card I can cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you cost 10. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. There's no way we can cast this guy and play this, right? That's so stupid. And now they get to untap with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could see green wording, wording for growth, but like just being able to connect with sort of body and mind is just so strong. I mean, maybe maybe Ulamog is just better here. Or maybe, God, Growth is like the weakest card in our graveyard. But like, just being able to cast it now lets us add more mana with the Rough Fellows. Yeah, like we have a limited number of cards that we just can't do anything with. I think it's literally Vraska, Knight of uh, Knight of Autumn, and that's probably it. Even if we had Thran Dynamo, we could play it for four, add one, two, three, uh, th tap the Dynamo for three, that's six, play this, and then we still have two mana left over to do something with if we wanted to. I mean, but the problem is like if they have Acidic Slime, we just play Sword. If they have Eternal Witness, they can go Eternal Witness, get back Brontodon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they go Eternal Witness, Brontodon. Why is Rafellos going to die? I can't imagine the reason Rafellos dies this turn. I'm going to get back Sword. I think it's the strongest. I also think Rampant Growth is just a card that's easily repeatable with so many draws from our deck, which I think is just better. I have no idea why randomly Rafellos would die here. That seems weird. Against the mono green deck. All right, well, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight mana total for creatures. Six mana in general, eight mana for creatures. We shall see. All right, well, no, change of mind. Okay, Seven, six mana. Did not use shaman. That's actually fine. That that's that gives us a lot of time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still nine mana. I don't know why I counted again. Any forest is good. It lets us cast Ulamog. Actually, we need a forest now because Emrakul now costs eleven because we only have two card types in our graveyard. Nailed it. Oh, no, 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 nailed it. So we can cast the Ulmog and kill this guy, but we could also just equip the sword. Which is better. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. We just Ulmog, right? Oh, we have to untap a thing first. We could also just take their turn, right? What does this cost to activate? 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I don't foresee that happening. You're out of here, my dude. This guy's indestructible. Next turn, sort up the Ulmog. I agree with you. I agree with you. 12, 12, pro blue, pro green. Seems good. I'm just worried about a Zealous Conscripts or something here, because then we might be dead. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15. We would take 16 total. 
I think we can get away with sacking four permanents. We could sacrifice Green Warden and get back a Vivian Reed. Seems fine. Although Ulamog is a hell of a drug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Ten mana for creatures is what they have. Eight mana in general. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight general mana. Ten creature mana. And this isn't going to add anything. This is at a, a negative one deficit right now. So. Oh, Cradle adds two more, so they have 11. Nine and two. Okay, that's fine. Now both of these have gotten better. This adds one extra. So they can go one, two to add four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they have they still have nine mana now. So Crater Hoof is scary, but not really, because they only have one attacking creature. Guys, I'm trying to figure out how I how not to die. I mean, attacking with Annihilator 4 and then also casting Emrakul in the same turn seems pretty good. I imagine that might do it. We could have also played Emrakul, had them swing Primeval Titan into Emrakul, and then failed to find. General Mana, salute. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir, General Mana. Sir. Well, they're doing a lot of things here. This adds one more with this and one more with this, so it basically it's basically free. On the bright side, they do only have two cards in hand. And we're still not dead to a Crater Hoof because we also have Ulamog to block. So, I don't know, man. This is a lot of things going on. We saw most of their deck. If Rattleclaw's here, what is this? I don't know what that is. I don't think Den Protector's in the cube. It probably is. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. They had just had five with this? Yeah, all right. So they have six mana total. Two for Den Protector and then Thrashing Brontodon with one floating to... Uh, to kill the sword? Man. <laughs> Oof. I think about it randomly sometimes. Yeah, I love thoughts like that where you're like, man, that was very good. It's, it actually just struck me how good this thing was. Okay, yeah, you're just doing a bunch of stuff that I'm not super concerned with. Wait, what did you get? You got back the... Wait, did they leave themselves... No, they still have the Arbor Elf, okay. And they get to draw another card? Oh my god. Oh my god. We do have Emrakul, though, which is nice. They're just going to kill it right now. Right now, it's your tomorrow. That's good, actually, because if we drew Dismember and they try to, like, activate this in response, we could Dismember it. That makes everything cheaper. It also gets us a Bayou, which is fantastic for this Vraska. Fantastic for the Vraska. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. This costs 10, so we still have three left over. Yeah, it seems fine. Uh, I actually want to be able, I want them to sacrifice it before blocks, so I want to be able to make this guy unblockable. And Emrakul's even cheaper if they if we just let them go to combat, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12. Three, yeah, we're just, we have plenty of mana. Well, 
Like, they have to kill it before blocks or else they take 10. 12. Oh, they just... Well, now they take 10. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Magic's hard. We're doing it, though. We're doing it. Opponent did have a very good turn here, and they sure made the most of it. Yeah, I, I think they did. They definitely did. Well, like, our, our Emrakul is really good here because we could just slam it into, uh... We can just slam their most important creatures into... Yep, so now they can block. That was what we were assuming they would do, which is why we put it on the, on the Ulamog. Otherwise, they could just take 7, which is better than taking 12. Uh, and then after blocks, kill kill the sword. Like, they block here with the Thrashing Brontodon, and then sack it to kill the sword post post blocks. Also, if you guys are looking for a sweet service to borrow uh, digital cards or physical paper cards you know, for Magic Online or for, for your local GPs and stuff, definitely check out manatraders.com. They have a, a number of subscriptions, and you will get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in my description below, so be sure to check those out. I assume they're going to throw a guy in front of this because then they, they die if they don't. So also now this costs nine. So f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we still have two left over. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. All right now. All right, one less dude. Boom, ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -ba -boom, boom, Maybe we should have attacked with these guys too. I don't know. Or we could have attacked with everything, Raging Ravine as well. I don't know. Oh, we're just going to win the game. We're just going to win the game. Our opponent with this pretty sweet deck is actually going to go to 0 2, unfortunately. We're going to go to 1 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, on manatraders.com, on coolstuffinc.com. Use promo code Frank5 and meundies.com slash Frank Rapport. Check all those things out. Great ways to support the stream. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Love you guys.